So, it's Afronique and I'm back to discuss if it's boring eating 80-10-10 or a low-fat vegan diet. So, let's see. Like I said, I'm only eating fruits and vegetables with a little bit of nuts and seeds, maybe an avocado every once in a while. And that's it. We're not talking salt. We're not talking any kind of dried herbs or seasonings. Nothing. So is it bland? Is it nasty? Am I like, oh my goodness, my stomach is so flat, but why do I have to eat this stuff? No, I'm good. I'm actually enjoying it. I can't say it's always been like that. And the biggest thing is it's been a major transition that's gotten me to this point. So I will say if you're trying to trans transfer or transition over to this lifestyle that it's okay if in the beginning you're kind of like, I don't like it. It really, take, it really took time for my taste buds to adjust. Over the past year, over a year actually, I've done major transitions in the way that I eat. And that has really helped me to be able to get to the point to where I am with the way I eat right now. And take that also into consideration of the fact of finding out I have the gluten intolerance and feeling like certain things had to be cut from my diet because of the way I reacted to it, such as dairy and like the grains. That that kind of helped me make things easier also. But originally, I wasn't trying to cut grains out of my diet. When I first started hearing people say they weren't good for you, I was like, I don't know that I can go without grains. And when I first started learning about raw food and heard that that existed, you know, a little bit after I went vegan, I was like, I would never be able to do that. I will just be vegan for the rest of my life because I'm not gonna cut out grains on my diet and you know, there's so many other things that I wanna be able to eat that you can't eat raw. And I'm just like, it wouldn't work for me. And then when I was like into raw, when I first started getting into eating raw and then I learned about kind of doing the mono meals and stuff like that that was really good for the digestion, you know, I was like, yeah, that would be pretty boring to just eat a whole bunch of apples and that's like a meal. I would be like, I could never do that. And I mean, all those things that I said I would never want to do, I'm doing all of them. But that's just because my taste buds have... I've done it gradually to where my taste buds have adjusted and then also the mentally I've just adjusted also and being able to see how well I do, um, how I wasn't feeling that well when I was eating the other ways but now I'm feeling so great eating this way that you know it was totally worth it to try and now that I've tried it it's like I don't want to go back to that. It's not worth it. And then I don't even want to go back to it because I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything, you know. So it's just been a major transition. And so um, I love it. Um, it's just interesting to see how I've come, how far I've come. Like, you know, like when I would eat. When I would kind of eat raw meals every once in a while, like let's take a, um, a, a raw taco for example. When I used to make raw tacos, it would be like your lettuce, um, it would be like a nut based meat type of a, like a meat and then it would be like maybe red peppers, tomatoes, carrots, cabbage and then kind of like maybe some kind of like of a dressing on it made from like nuts usually and that was a raw taco for me but now a raw taco for me can be as simple as lettuce cucumber with like maybe like a sesame seed dressing on top you know i can just get it like that or sometimes i can just take some lettuce and just like put some cucumbers or something like that in it and i'm good with that and that's like a taco to me so it's definitely changed you know and like i said i'm doing mono meals no problem you know eat a bunch of tangerines a bunch of persimmons and it's not an issue for me i like it i'm not miserable i don't feel like i'm having to sacrifice all this stuff before on all honesty i did i was really upset you know, it was really before I went low fat raw vegan, I was really upset. I was like, why is my body like this? Why is it having such a hard time digesting all these things? All these other people get to eat this stuff and they still got a, fat, a flat belly. Why do I have to be like so particular about the things that I eat? And now I'm just like, 
I, I don't have a problem with it. I love it. And I'm so glad, actually, that I found out about the gluten sensitivity because that was one of the things that got me down this path, you know, and helped me to give up some things. And so, you know, it's been great, and I can't complain whatsoever about it, you know. My taste buds are happy. I'm happy. It's all good. <laughs> all right? Thanks for watching.